Yes, they are commencing the work. And they've already taken off the wood trim on the outside. Now he's using a skill saw out there. And I'll get out there in a minute because he's got to take that flashing, you know, bit off. So they've taken off the trim off of here. Pretty simple to do. Just make sure that when you take off this casing, see he's left the nails sticking up. You need to bend those nails down and put them on the other side. And the important thing is, is to scribe the edge before you pull the trim off. And he did that so that it doesn't rip off any of the sheetrock. Okay, I'll get out there in a minute. It's kind of noisy out there. I like the fact that they put some plastic down. They put some plastic down here. They also put some plastic over the bed. We put a sheet over the bed. You know, just to protect all that kind of stuff. Hold this cord for me. So he's cut the, cut the siding off there. So he's cutting it. He's got to be careful because he's doing it upside down here. Got to cut, you've got to cut that because that'll allow them to take this off and then they'll be able to get to the flashing here to take it off. Okay, so, so now they've got to get up there and work up here at the top too. So you've got to go all the way around it. Make sure you, you adjust your skill saw blade so it doesn't go in too far and that's what he's done. He's made it about three quarters of an inch or so. So it doesn't dig too deep down into there. This is 5 8 siding. Well, it takes a little bit of time to do this. Just keep at it. Be careful when you're using a skill saw, of course. Okay. Trying to stay out of their way. kind of a slick little tool. I was wondering how they were going to cut that out. And it's a battery operated Ryobi there. I've seen one of those on a commercial before but I don't have one of those tools and I guess that's a good thing to have. What is that thing called anyways? Multi we call it a multi-tool. Multi? -tool. multi yeah. And it just vibrates real quick vibrates back and, forth. and it just cuts right in there. That's pretty awesome. Now they can take that little section off of there, see? I'll have to work at it a little bit. These little pry bars are kind of nice to have in your arsenal. Work it, baby. Okay, they're going to do that all the way around here. Then they can get to the flashing on the window. The door system. And they'll be able to then 
remove those nails so they can get this ready to be pulled out. I call it a window system. It's actually a sliding glass door system, but it acts as a window system because the flange is on the outside. There's no flange. There should not be a flange in here. It should be just on the outside. Then they can score the sheetrock on the inside just a little bit or so, and, and they'll unscrew it on the on over here on this other side, and they'll be able to pull it right away from the wall. So this sheetrock here, they shouldn't have to cut it all. They might score it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, a little bit as you go, you can do it. Now the owner was told, how long is it gonna take to remove an old sliding glass door system and have some professionals go ahead and install the new one? They said in about five hours, they thought they would be all done. And they have some trim and everything with them. They're not going to use this old trim. They've got some new stuff with them. I don't know what's going to happen about the painting. They, they may have to have somebody else come back out here and paint it. I doubt very seriously they're going to do that themselves. They'll get everything installed in, they say, in about five hours. So, you know, they just started with it. And if you've never done this before, it's going to take more than five hours, okay? Allow yourself a full day with it. And you should be fine. He likes Ryubi too. See, all these are, are his battery operated tools. Here's that multi tool wheel right here. I kind of like that. That's kind of slick. Okay. And, and it comes, you can get different blades for it with points on it and, and different things. Okay. Or a straight uh, square kind of paddle, kind of like a. Uh, Uh, paint scraper, putty knife, something like that. See, here's here's a sawzall, and you put the battery right in there. Here, he's got some drills here. Yeah, battery operated, and those are lithium batteries. That's the best way to go, right there. Like the little flange to the window the door system. He's just using his his tool there to get the nails loose and usually these are nailed it would be nice if they were screwed but nobody years ago seemed to do that they nailed it so now you got to pull out all the nails get it loose look at your flange can you grab that roto zip again likes that tool. He calls it a roto zip. That was the trim that he was taking out. Oh, the siding that he cut out. Okay. I might have to look into seeing about getting one of those. Maybe I should give one of those away as a free tool contest. Give that to a winner. What do you think? If you like that idea, let me know. It looks like they're moving some stuff because now they can take the sliding glass door section and they're going to pop it off of there. I think all they're going to do is grab it, raise it up, and swivel it out at the bottom. Let's see if that's what they're going to do here. Was slick putting it in the plastic like that I can roll it up and get it out keep the mess to a minimum the sawdust to a minimum they're still gonna have to vacuum up and sweep up at the end of the job but I like that See the flange right there? Had it been me doing this, I would have cut. I would have cut it fairly closer to here. You know, this is the this is the paper that goes there, and then there's some Tyvek paper 
that goes all underneath here. I'm not sure how they're going to reflash this, if they're going to put some paper and sneak it under there before they attach a new piece of trim and all that, or if they're just going to mastic it in, or what the deal is. But, you know, either way, whether or not they would have cut it here or cut it here, they still would have had to cut it to get to this flange. Now they've got this loose, okay, all the way along there, and they'll be able to get it out now, okay. A HEPA vacuum. That's kind of slick. Does that work pretty good? Yeah, it works good. All right. Gets the job done. I usually just see people use a shop vac, but this keeps it all enclosed in case a little bit better. That's what I like to do too. Get the, keep the job clean before your next step. You're not walking over everything and tracking all this stuff into the house or wherever. 